Hi kids, welcome back to Dixie's Storytime World. A little bit of this dinosaur by Eileen Hutchison and Darcy Patterson. You have a little bit of Spinosaurus in your spine. Don't believe me? Well, it's all your brother's fault. Listen up, here's how it happened. Once, in days of old, a volcano erupted, sending ash, smoke and a carbon atom into the air. The carbon floated on wind currents till it finally fell into a shallow river where it was absorbed by algae. A hungry fish ate the algae. A Spinosaurus chased the fish and caught it. Now the carbon atom that had spewed out of the volcano became a little bit of dinosaur. When its days on Earth were done, the Spinosaurus died. Its bones hardened into fossils. Time ticked by. The land dried and became a desert. Finally, in an oasis, a date palm grew near the old fossils. The roots wiggled close, touching the fossils. The palm tree took up the carbon. The little bit of carbon that used to be part of the Spinosaurus became part of a date. A camel caravan stopped by the oasis and a camel driver cut off all the stalks of dates. At market, the camel driver sold the dates. The dates were pitted and packaged and then flown to a warehouse. A trucker delivered the dates to the store and your father bought the dates for a family picnic. Your mother shook her head at him. You don't like dates. No one in your family likes dates. Why did your father buy those dates? Finally, your mother fed the dates to your chickens. Peck, peck, peck. They love the dates. A young hen laid an egg that had a little bit of carbon in its yellow yolk. You and your brother went out to gather eggs. Egg fight! Told you it was your brother's fault. Only two eggs were left for breakfast. You ate the egg with a little bit of carbon that used to be in a dinosaur. Your body took that little bit of dinosaur and used it to make your body a little bit stronger. You have a little bit of Spinosaurus in your gigantic spine. If you look closely, you might see a little bit of Uteraptor in your fierce eyes or a little bit of Diplodocus in your tailbone or a little bit of Triceratops on your forehead or a little bit of Iguanodon in your fast legs and when your days on earth are done and your body returns to the land, that little bit of dinosaur will be used again. Maybe someday the carbon will travel across continents and wind up in the scales of a cut throat trout. The carbon cycle. All matter and all living things are made up of atoms, tiny particles that you can only see with powerful microscopes. The main atoms that make up living things are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. When any living thing dies, the atoms that make it up are used over and over in new living things. The atoms go from a living thing to the soil, air or water and then back into a living thing again. Thank you kids for listening and learning. I'll see you soon in another adventure. Always remember to be good, polite and kind.